Hey guys, it's Evan and I'm back yet again with another Gundam Bill Divers Re-Rise set. Here we have two accessory kits, the fake new unit and the fake new weapons. These two kits are designed to attach to the Alus Core Gundam from the Alus Earth 3 Gundam kit. In the narrative, this is done via the Planet System, a combining system that allows the Core Gundam to be equipped with an assortment of armors for different abilities. Now the Alus Core Gundam and the Earth 3 armor it came with are meant to be evil copycat versions of the hero's Earth 3 armor. This armor continues on with this theme, this time being a copy of the RX-93 New Gundam. As you'd expect, many of the same design cues from the original New Gundam are present here. The angular chest vents, the shoulder pauldrons, and the legs are very similar in design. And of course, the signature feature of the new Gundam, the asymmetrical fin funnels in the back. Of course, this wouldn't be much of an evil clone without some of its own unique features to stand apart from the original. Just like the other Alice Core Gundam heads, this new head also sports a single mono eye in the center, along with some very slight color accents in purple on the face and chests. This unit also does away with the bright colors of the original like red and yellow. On top of the head there is a more asymmetrical V-fin. At first I wasn't sure if I liked this design but it quickly grew on me. The asymmetrical look here complements the design of the funnels in the back while giving the Gundam an evil corrupted look. Stepping back to look at what you get in the boxes, you get four runners in the fake new unit box and two runners in the weapons box. You also get two sheets of stickers between the two sets. You get uh, nine for the armor itself and two for the weapons. Most of the armor stickers are small and are meant for minor color details. Six of the nine stickers are for the head alone. There's the eye, the front and back cameras, purple side details on the face, and the crest itself. It's amazing that they even bothered with the front camera sticker as it is immediately hidden by the large V-fin. The remaining three stickers are for the chest camera, just like on the original New Gundam, and some of the colors between the toes of the feet. The weapon sticker sheet includes two stickers, but only one is used for the gun. The remaining sticker is not used, but can be applied to the core spray gun from one of the original core Gundam kits if you need it. Once completed, the armor can be set up in its own standalone display piece that is included. I think I prefer the jet armor stands that the other armors in this line come with, but this and the Alus Earth 3 Gundam come on these unique type of stands. The jets are more creative, but I don't mind the presentation here and it is still very practical as it holds all the pieces together in one spot including the extra hands. Putting the armor on is very simple to do. The original core Gundam head comes off and is replaced with a new head. The shoulders slide right on and the skirt armor fits into these little pegs. The legs fold up and push into place. There's an additional piece here that covers up the back of the legs so that none of the original leg pieces are showing. The trickiest part is probably the chest, which requires the shoulders to be extended and then a bottom and top piece are applied to the left and right parts of the torso. Unique to this kit, there's also a front chest piece to apply. All the other armors, I believe, leave this part exposed. Finally, the backpack fits onto the back and the gun fits right into the hand. The core spray gun from the Alice Earth 3 Gundam or the original core Gundam can be used here in place of the piece that is included in the set. Honestly, I prefer how the original core Gundam's gun looks here as this piece that's included in this set looks a bit cheap and looks like a placeholder and it's not as detailed as the real deal that came with the other core Gundams. Two of the funnels on the back can be detached and posed. 
The rest of them are fake, which is fitting considering the name of this Gundam. They are on two joints so that they can fold up into their activated state. There's also a spot on the back so that you can put this on a stand for more posing possibilities. There's also a beam saber on the back that oddly enough, this kit does not include the blade. On top of this, you can't even use the blades that come with the other core Gundam units since these blades are the flat type where this hilt requires the round type. Here I'm using a blade from the HD Wyndham. There's also an additional piece included that allows you to use the funnels and the backpack on the HG Gundam Tertium. Posing on this guy is great. I loved posing this guy and I couldn't get enough pictures and uh, shots for this guy. Uh, this is largely thanks to the core Gundam being so well articulated. The armor does not much get in the way and the new feet have just enough movement to them that you can get some really nice poses. Uh, standard 2 might be nice to have handy so that you can pose the funnels as well. Oh, and this guy is also compatible with the original Core Gundam 1 and 2 as well. In the manual here, they have the Core Gundam 1 attached to some of the Jupiter Gundam parts for a cool custom look. Since I guess they're both white, that works pretty well. If you were to go this route, you will need at least some of forearms for the Core Gundam as the Alus Core Gundam already has these long forearms, but the original Core Gundams do not have that forearm, so it would look odd without the extra armor pieces from another set. His arms would look really short. So overall, I mostly love these accessories. I was excited to find out that the Alus Core Gundam was getting more armors. I thought that this guy maybe was a one-off, but I love the way the Core Gundam looked, and I love the way the Alice Earth 3 armor's uh, head looked too. I thought it was really unique. Despite purposely being a copy of another mobile suit, this design still has a wonderfully unique look to him, and it's a very welcome addition to the Planet System armors. My only minor gripe is that the cheapy looking placeholder part of the gun is not my favorite and the lack of a beam saber is kind of odd, but if you have these other kits lying around, these problems are easily solved. Uh, I definitely recommend this kit to anyone who has any of the core Gundam units. I think it looks really cool, and I was having way too much fun posing him, and uh, yeah, I, I think he's definitely worth it if you are into this line. Anyway, that's it for me, and I will see you next time on another Gunpla TV review. Yeah.